Hey guys, super excited to film this video. Um, oh yeah. So I got fifty-four dollars in penny or uh, nickels from my bank, and I got these two enders: a V nickel ender and a twenty-two Canadian ender. Um, so super stoked to get into the rest of these rolls. I'm actually gonna keep these rolls, uh, just as the ender. Um, but I'm just just gonna get into this hunt right now. Forgot to make mention. I've looked at a lot of nickels, and I'm thinking this is the 38 or 39 Denver. Uh, I could be wrong, but if I had to guess, this is a key date ender. It was just a 42 Denver. That means we can check it for the deal of a horizontal deal later. But I'll take it, 42 Denver ender. Take a guess on. And I have reason to believe these are going to be pretty packed, because we also got two 46s out of that roll. That's... Fantastic. Got ourselves a 1957 from Denver. And continuing the streak, got a 58 Denver. Very same roll, and we've got a 52 Denver. Very same roll yet again, and toward the back of the roll, looks like we're going to have a bunch of fines, starting with a 1940 Philly, a 1954. Denver and this other 1940. Why isn't it focusing very well? This one's Denver. You can tell that this roll is going to be packed full of goodies. We got a 47, 53. Just going to keep it rolling. 46, 48. Fifty-two. All right, yeah, looks to be it. So five more old nickels. We definitely got a four in here. Let's see what it is. Um. Ten something. Nineteen thirty-five, I think. It says nineteen fifty-five. Ten anapha. Anapha. Who? Who goes Slavia? Oh, who goes? You get You get Oh, and I just looked over, and there's a war nickel in the roll. Nineteen forty-three Philly. Wow, but yeah, Yugoslavia, it's kind of cool, and oh my gosh, there's a buffalo in the roll too, 1936, we're just going to keep it going, there's a second buffalo in the roll, 35, oh yeah, 52 Jefferson, 39, Philly to the DDR. Not the DDR. But yeah. 1940, San Francisco. Well, we knew we were going to get into something good because we saw this. I didn't know this good. 46. Philly. Well, we've got a 1948 San Francisco, which is actually a pretty good year. I think it's a semi-key date, so that's pretty 59. good. 59 Denver and back here I saw 56 toward the end of the roll. And a 1958 Denver. Might be another action-packed roll because we got ourselves a 1940. And back here I did notice a buffalo, but we'll get to that later because right now We've got a 47, zoom out, 47 Philly, 56 Denver, 58 Denver, and that Buffalo was a 1936. 
We're going to have a bunch more older Jeffersons starting with a 1940. Nineteen fifty four, nineteen forty, fifty three, nineteen forty. All right, more older Jefferson. Like we're gonna have another foreign Cinco Centavos Mexican, nineteen sixty. So. Here we go, and I notice a bunch of older looking coins, 54, 41, and 1940. And a 1939 Philly, just double check for the DDR, not seeing it, but add it to the collection. Um, 48 Philly, and that's it. Definitely going to have to call up that bank tomorrow and see if they have any more nickels from this batch. But let's I'm keep going. Uh, cut, start cutting out the older Jeffersons because um, unless it's a key date or something. But are you kidding me? Another Buffalo, 1936. That's number four. And back here I saw another Buffalo, 1929 Philly, number five. So, yeah, we're excited. That's our early Jefferson's pile. There's our buffaloes and foreign and other stuff. So, let's keep going. Open up roll 20. And what do I see peeking out back there? 1936 buffalo number 6. Right there. Um, don't say anything else to that nature. So, we'll keep going. There's how the Jeff... Well, they're Jefferson piles too. Right, next row, row uh, Buffalo number seven, sticking out back here, and it's a 1937. And there's another one, 1936 Buffalo. Well, I went ahead and got the other $50 and nickels that they had, and sure enough, we got another Ender, Buffalo Ender. Gonna save that one forever, or until I need two bucks, but uh, got 24 rolls, so uh, $48, um, and should be the rest of the collection dump, so let's As keep I going. Thought. First roll in, we got another Buffalo, 1934. Denver and a war nickel 1943 Philadelphia and it seems as if the good finds come in pairs because we got this buffalo right here and I noticed the top of this buffalo this one's a 1930 this one's a 1936 so two more buffaloes that makes 11 buffaloes holy we cow have here another buffalo nickel Philadelphia, another 1937. That makes a dozen buffaloes. What snuck up on me? 1943. San Francisco. Steely. It's actually got a step or two. Which is kind of cool. So, add it to the Wernickel pile. And but keep I going. Mention of our third foreign. It's just a Canadian from 1984. But... Third four, nonetheless. And we've got ourselves another war nickel. 1943, Philly. I thought I'd go ahead and open the last two rolls live, just because it's been a crazy box. Those are all the older Jeffersons. Probably a good hundred or so. No war ish edges. We've got this one, 78. Let's go ahead and dump the roll out. Bank sealed roll. Got a Canadian right there. 1995, so that'll make another Canadian. Uh, there's older Jeffersons. I won't. Well, there's only a couple, it looks like. 52D. 
don't see too many older Jeffersons in this roll. So I'll finish this roll and open the last All roll. Alright, roll 50. Hoping for something really cool live. Just so you know, I'm not buying or anything. There's both ends, they're crimped beautifully. I don't know. Been stuck on 12 buffalo nickels for a while. We maybe make it 13 or something. But I'm not seeing it. That's okay. Well, I mean, technically we do have that buffalo under. But I'm going to be keeping these three rolls. For as long as I can. Um, but yeah, I guess I will go ahead and search this roll and... Give you guys a wrap up. Boy oh boy was that fun and it took some time, but I got everything laid out. So let's go ahead and get in with, with what we got. First off, I set aside a bunch of really nice 1988 Denvers. Pretty sure they're from the same person because why would there be all these really nice 1988 Denvers? Uh, then we got 66 from the 50s and 46 from the four or no 76 from the 40s, including a couple semi-key dates, 48S and a 49S. And I checked all the 42Ds for D over horizontal Ds, none. The 49Ss for, or Ds for the D over S. Um, and then we got four from the 30s, all 39 Phillies, no DDRs, and all freely. Um, we got some foreigns, a couple Canadians, a 95 and 84. Got a Yugoslavian 1955 coin and a 1960 Mexican Cinco Centavos. We got four war nickels, 343 Philadelphias and a 43 San Francisco. And the best stuff, the Buffalo nickels. All of these were Philadelphia except for two, which I'll show you here in a minute. Got a 29 Philly, 30 Philly, 34 Denver. Is This is one of the Denvers. And a 35 Philly. Got a 36 Denver. And five other uh, 36s from Philly. And two 37 Phillies. And not to mention those beauties right there, which are staying intact. <sighs> you never know what's in them, but. Uh, that's too cool to open though. I, I couldn't do it. But anyhow, if you really liked this collection dump video and want to see more like it, because uh, I'm sure uh, sh hopefully there's going to be more, especially with the uh, people dumping change and stuff. Um, if you like this, please make sure to consider giving it a like, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Maybe on another collection dump video. Who knows? But anyhow, peace out.